What's going on guys, it's your boy Jack, aka The Balding Reefer, coming at you with today's video, which is how to clean aquarium substrate. So, let's go. So, for those of you who've been watching, obviously you'll notice on the channel uh, the original layout of all the fish tanks inside of the fish room, etc, etc. What I'm doing is I'm doing a sort of new look, sort of 2020, uh, inside of the fish room. What I want to be doing is showcasing a lot more of the fish off uh, that we've got and showing the different breeding processes and the growing out processes that we've got. So I'm doing a little bit of a change around with the tanks inside of here. What I also want to do as well is sort of start growing our own sort of uh, aquatic plants uh, inside the aquariums, which again sort of forms that symbiotic relationship that we keep talking about between the plants and the fish because the plants are obviously going to pick up all the detritus, the fish poo, uh, the uneaten food, you need to turn that into nutrients and we'll be able to grow the water column. At the same time, the fish fry um, are going to be able to use the aquatic plants as cover as well. What I've done on, well, sorry, should I say what I've done? What I am doing on this video is the uh, JBL uh, Volcanic um, Rock Substrate. Very similar to what you get on your outdoor gas barbecues, exactly the same sort of uh, thing, really, except for it's broken up into tiny, tiny little pieces. Uh, this can be quite dusty uh, when you originally take it out of the bag. So, what I want to do is show, show you guys a sort of quick run through in regards to sort of how I rinse my aquarium substrates. Um, and the best sort of methods, what to do and what not to do really. So let me take you outside and I can show you how we're going to uh, rinse this all through. So this is the substrate that I'm talking about, the uh, JBL Volcanic uh, Lava Rock. Aids in uh, filtration massively because a lot of this is sort of porous and will help with sort of biological filtration uh, in the bottom of the tank. Obviously, fish can sort of uh, dig through here to find any sort of unspent food and things like that. Uh, this has already been in an aquarium, but you will still see the sort of grime uh, that comes off this now. Just bear with me two seconds. So, all I do. He's just give it a good sort of rinse through, uh, soak it all down, let the water level rise, and then the good thing about these buckets here is the little lip on the side, the water will just sort of trickle over. Uh, then occasionally what I'll do is I'll come back and it just start to sort of fill up. Do a big sort of dunk out, and then again sort of refill it all back through. What I normally like to do is wait till the bucket gets sort of three quarters full. Uh, give it a big stir around, just really churn it all up all the way through, make sure you are sort of constantly moving the substrate around and things like that. Um, and yeah, I find that's the sort of uh, the best method. So as you can see now, you can sort of vaguely see through that. You can see some of the gunk coming up here, but if I sort of start to mix it through now, again, you can really see that colour sort of starting to change now. You can actually see all the sediment forming on my wrist there, to be honest with you. But look at the difference between that now. You can't see sort of any uh, of the rocks in there, um, substrate, should I say. And uh, again, that's all we do now. So we sort of let that fill up to the top. Uh, and then naturally, it'll start sort of tipping over the edge like so. And then what I will do, like I say, is once that's ran for about five or so minutes, I'll just come along, give it a big old tip out. Careful, obviously, not to knock the substrate out. Obviously, this does get pretty difficult to do it this way when you are doing things like sand. And then, like I say, just literally follow and repeat the whole process. I'll probably do this sort of four or five times. And so I'm happy with the water clarity. And it's coming through sort of clear. Now it's not going to be a hundred percent clear, of course, but obviously your filtration systems that you've got in your tanks, whether that's an external filter, internal sponge filter, um, polishing filters, obviously they will pick up the remaining bits of the gunk and stuff. Um, but yeah, so let me get to uh, rinsing this through now, and I'll come back to you shortly uh, when it's running and clear. Right, guys, that's after about five or possibly six rinses now uh you can still see some of like i say the, the muddy sediment on top of the water 
but that will sort of shortly disperse over the top of the bucket um, and yeah that's my sort of ha quick little how to in regards to rinsing aquarium substrates like I say no matter what you're using I would always advise rinsing off your aquarium substrates there you go now you can see the mud sort of dissipating over the top now and that water being left pretty much sort of crystal clear like I say never actually going to be a hundred percent until you get like a polisher in there or anything like that but like I say your main aquarium you'll find all there it'll do that itself but yeah as I was saying every substrate I use I always recommend sort of rinsing this through especially the finer sands because there are some particles in there that you that you are going to find are going to float and stuff like that and obviously anything sort of gravelly or rocky you're also going to get lots of sort of dust and debris from when it was packaged at manufacturers and stuff like that so thanks very much for watching um as always please follow me on facebook which is at the balding reefer follow me on on instagram as well which is at the dot balding dot reefer uh please subscribe to this channel uh hit the subscribe button hit the like button hit the bell notification so you can follow the fish room journey as we go on through into 2020 uh and then beyond but yeah leave a comment below if this is something you liked cheers balding reefer out